And I, I would like to uh, hail you as my hero. I gather that you're joining the uh, Save the Cenotaph uh, crew uh, yeah. to protect our most sacred war memorial monument uh, from uh, protesters. Yeah, no, indeed. A, a great friend of mine messaged yesterday and said there's a number of us, uh, it's going around, people are messaging each other, who are all going to stand around the cenotaph as a human shield, holding hands. There'll be no chanting, no flags, no emblems, nothing like that. It is mm -hmm. just simply extremely peaceful and making sure that people can't get to it, they can't vandalise it, they can't climb on it, that it is shown respect. Because, you know, one thing that really offended me during those BLM marches a couple of years ago was when they boarded up Winston Churchill. Yeah, yeah. Like it, that should not have been the You're response right. to that. Yeah. What should have happened is soldiers from Horse Guards Parade up the road should have come down and stood around him because he essentially was the man who brought peace to Europe and the world. Well, what we don't want to see ever again is what happened when a Winston Churchill statue uh, near the cenotaph was uh, vandalised uh, in a demonstration while coppers stood on and watched and took the knee. Uh, yes. Now, the reason you have to protect the cenotaph is because our police don't seem capable right. of doing it. At the uh, demonstration last Saturday in London, which I saw, I didn't see this actual incident, but I saw the uh, massive pro-Palestinian march. And at one point, uh, they all climbed up onto Lloyd George's statue mm. and it was subsequently, you know, uh, defaced with graffiti, spray paint and everything. So there they are, crawling all over this sacred statue. And there's a bunch of coppers beneath. And one of them goes to them, you better come down. Uh, uh. Don't, don't, no, literally like this. Don't, don't do that again. <laughs> I mean, what is wrong? no, arrest them. They're yeah. breaking the damn law. Unbelievable. Yeah, and it, it's just offensive to so many people. There have already been people, I think, going to the cenotaph to try and protect it. There's one video circulating online, actually, of a woman in a <clears throat> wheelchair and one of the pro-Palestinian marchers is shouting racist abuse at her, mm. calling her white trash. Um, and, you know, you just think this is this is ridiculous, especially 11-11, just leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Let it be there as a day to remember the fallen millions, because if we can't do that, if we can't take one day a year... And remembering the Second World War, so important, right? Especially in the context of what's going is. on in the Middle East, the upticking anti-Semitism. The only thing I hope is that this doesn't get hijacked by yobbos. Uh, well, indeed, and but the, the, your uh, defence of the cenotaph, I hope it doesn't. I suspect yeah. it won't. It sounds like very. I think it's largely people. veterans and. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's remember what uh, Remembrance Sunday is all about, or what the Remembrance Period is. It's it's about. It's not political. It's about young people, men, largely men, who gave their lives, who made the ultimate sacrifice. They gave their lives for their country. And if we can't respect that huge sacrifice that they've made, then what has become of us as a nation? Yeah, if we can't learn the lessons of history by remembering the atrocities that happened in the Second World War, and clearly, it seems some people out there have very short memories yeah. today. Well, here's to you for saving the sen senator. Right, thank you. I wish I'll I do my be, best. I wish I could be with you, but I'll be at the football. She's, she's, she's <laughs> That's committed. That's where the real hooligan she, this is. This is a decent person. <laughs> Me, you know, shallow, forget it, forget <laughs> it. But that's what we think. But we'd love to hear from you too.